Hello everyone, assalamualaikum and once again welcome back to my another video and in my today's video I'm gonna talk about lesson number 65. So let's we'll start our today's video on the topic. So today's our talk, uh, topic is like models. So thank you, we all understand what is models but as name of models that we understand it will have can, could, will, would, shall, should, may, might and must but without that we have some models that are used in many many sentences so we we'll talk about this so first of all models as we understand that can is one of them could will would shall should may might must o2 so we can make sentences like can i bro your pen can i bro your pen could you help me please or will you help me please would you go with me or shall i do that so many things you can use so making sentences and then semi models so semi models some, uh, to someone it's a new subject because semi models what are they so semi models are need to and also dare to so need to and dare to as we know that are models but that are actually semi models not fully models so models that can could will would shall should may might or to must but semi models are need to, dare to. And then the next more subject is more models. So without that semi model models, we have some models that we somebody know and somebody doesn't know. So let me talk about that. So they are used to and supposed to, also bound to. So used to, supposed to, bound to, or used to, bound to, supposed to. So they are new models to us. Uh, to somebody who have already know about that they could understand what are they the other models without semi models and models and then the next one is next is also to me and uh, new to all of you I think that is model phrase we understand that as model like M2 is to R2 was to R2 but they are actually called as semi uh, model phrase so they are actually called as model phrase in that we have the auxiliary to be verb uh, from the auxiliary to be verb they are am, is, are, was, or so in our previous video about lesson number 64 we have understand that they are what are they used for and why we use that so think you will watch that video if you don't watch it and I think who have watched it you guys understand that thing so am, is, are, was, or plus two so that is a model phrase that can be M2, is to, R2, was to, or to. And then have verb. So have verbs in we have have, has, and had. The three forms of have. One is for had, the base form. And then S form, adding S form. And then had, the plus form. <coughs> so think you all have understand. And we will add here two with all of them, the preposition to that will make a model phrase like have to, has to, have to. And the next one is also new to me. It is will have to. Will have to actually used for uh, saying about future tense so that I will have to go, I will have to go, I will have to do that, I will have to do the homework. So other uh, future tense sentences we must use that. And uh, the will have actually understand that about must. Must means I have to do that. Must, I must do that. So they are similar, but we must uh, sometimes make model phrases and sometimes use models, same models, some more models. I uh, think you all have understand about this topic and today's, uh, today was our lesson number 65. And if you understand, don't forget to share this video with your friends. So stay at home, stay safe. Assalamualaikum. Allah Hafiz.